welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something new on my channel that I kind of want to do. That's kind of Nick's idea, but like I am doing something different than his idea, but kind of his idea. So we're sitting on the couch and I'm like, hey, brainstorm me a video idea. And he goes, you should do early 2000s makeup. And I'm like, down, but I want to make there's something different. As you can see, I'm wearing a 70s shirt. I'm going to be doing 70s makeup today, so half of my face is going to be how the makeup would be done in the 70s, and then on this side, I'm going to be doing it how the makeup would be done here today in 2019. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. But that is what I'm going to do, and hopefully I'll be able to do more of these videos. For the 2000s one, I kind of want to get products that are used in the 2000s, 70s, I'm just gonna kind of go with what I have because it was a lot of greens and things like that and I didn't want to fight with the greens that were made back then. So I'm just gonna kind of give this video a chance today and I'm just gonna use the products that I have and then split my face in half. This side 70s, this side 2019. So without further ado, let's get started. Getting on my computer to look up 70s. Makeup. I've already looked this up, but I kind of like want to like have my computer in front of me with a look that I am going for. So this was what I found on my phone, which I will insert that picture here. So it's very like not blended, just really just green packed onto the eyes, a very simple brow, and a red lip. And it doesn't look like there's too much going on in the face besides maybe a little bit of bronzer. So, yeah, so I'm like, I'm just barely gonna darken up right in here, have all green going down and around, and then just thin eyebrows and a red lip. That seems to be all we're doing. So then, of course, I'm gonna be doing a green look on this eye. I'm gonna try and not make it how I did the one video. I'm gonna try and use the same colors that I used on this side with this side. So let's just jump right into it. It does look like they have a pretty full coverage foundation on. I mean, back then they probably had the fullest skin all the way around. So yeah, so I'm just gonna use a full coverage foundation and I'm going to go in with this Johnson's Aloe and Vitamin E lotion that I have been using and I'm gonna put this on both sides of my face. So as I was scrolling and looking through all of makeup looks, it really was a lot of greens in the 70s. And then in the 2000s, I noticed that it's very silvery blue metallics. And then here in 2018, it's browns mixed with oranges. And I guess that's not really different. But like today, there isn't like a set color that people do. We just kind of do like whatever we feel fits needs. So it's kind of interesting to like look at all of the past makeup and looking at it now. So. So everything looks and seems to be awfully matte. So I have my Milani Prime Shield, the mattifying primer. And then I do have like an older kind of dupey, not really older, but like foundation that I used to use in the past that I'm gonna use, which is this from London Stay Matte. I really wanna keep it matte. And then I have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I'm just gonna be very matte today. So bear with me. So I am gonna do the other side, like my normal foundation and things like that. Really just the eyeshadows I'm gonna try and keep the same color because I do want it to be different, you know, I mean like what products you would use in 2019 rather than the 1970s. So yeah, you, you should get the gist by now. If not, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm horrible at explaining things. Um, I am in, gonna use light porcelain. I don't really remember what shade I am. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on the back of my hand and this stuff's probably expired, but we're just gonna ignore that. We're just gonna keep going. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's so thick. Oh my God. So it is very full coverage. Will not, not disagree with that. It's, it's pretty full coverage, but I don't know if I would use it ever again. I'm not kidding you, when I first started to become a makeup artist, this was the foundation I used on everybody because it was like $5.99 at Walmart and I was like, oh yes, every shade. I had never even tried it before. I just 
added it to my kit and yeah. Now I don't imagine that they used eyeshadow primer in the 70s. It probably wasn't even thought of. So I am just going to kind of set this in and then I'm probably going to take my concealer and kind of put it around my eyes because the eyes do seem very light in the photos and it's really just like right in here that they darken it up just a little bit. I am going to attempt to nail these eyebrows though. I don't know how well they're actually going to go but we sure are going to try so I'm going to do these before I do my makeup so just sit tight and kind of watch how I do it because I'm not going to be able to explain and do it and attempt to even make it good. So this brow looks pretty good from like not really super duper close up but when I bring my mirror up it doesn't necessarily look the best but it looks pretty good like backed away and things like that. It kind of really matches the picture so now I'm just going to take this concealer and brighten up right around my eyes and then use my concealer as my base for my eyeshadow. just very lightly gonna set what I did to the under eyes really quick okay so I grabbed my eyeshadow palettes I have greens in them do not kill me for using the Morty 5 the Morty 5 the Morphe 35B I like the palette it sucks that it's gone I do not have their new LGBTQ palette because I am a dummy and didn't even realize that it was out and then when I went to go buy it was sold out and now I'm broke so sucks so I'm going back to my picture and I'm just kind of like seeing what I need to do. I have more packer style brushes than I do anything else because there isn't really a lot of blending to go on more so just kind of packing colors on. So whoa. I'm going to use the 35B palette. This green color in here is just kind of speaking to me more. So I have this Morphe M503 brush and it's not necessarily like a blending brush or packing brush it's just kind of in between but I'm gonna use it to use the crease color that is on this so I'm just gonna spritz this brush with the Morphe setting spray let it dry off a little bit because I got it really wet it's fine, it's fine and then I'm just gonna go in with this color right here that is kind of a hunter green but a lime green mixed together and I, the reason I put setting spray on is because there really isn't a lot of blending to this look, like, at all. You just kind of put the colors in the crease, like so. And she really has it farther up towards the front of the eye and then brings it clear down over this side. I do think I am going to need that James Charles color. This came off way lighter than I planned. So I am going to go into the James Charles palette and use this Hunter Green color that he has down here. Oops, I just stuck my finger in the brown. And I'm just going to use that and then put this into my crease. And we'll see what happens. Because this really is a dark green. Okay, yes, this this is much, much better than what I had going on, so. And the color gets brought in to the lid. And down on the lower lash line. And she kind of blends the inner corner in with a lime green color so I think I'm gonna take that one in the bottom left of James's palette and just go on with that as well as I'm gonna have to take some concealer and kind of clean up and make it look a little bit more round because it did kind of screw up on that but that's okay So I have this, this looks absolutely crazy. Like she looks bomb in that picture, but I look stupid, but that's okay. So 
So I think this is kind of like how she basically has it. I don't look good with this look. <laughs> and then she has like this shit. Yeah, not very quiet. What are you looking for? What are you doing? So then she just has this shimmery green color in the inner corner area. So in the 35B there is this one. I'm going to swatch it first before I put it on my eye just to make sure that it's like what I'm wanting. Yeah, it's pretty good. I do think oh, that this will apply. This is going to apply best with my finger and I am going to use this dewy setting spray to kind of like mist my finger up a little bit. And then swirl it around, and then I'm going to put it on my eye. So about like that. I'm pretty close to the picture, I want to say at least. I'm going to put it up again. I, yeah, this is not my look. <laughs> I'm going to take my Milani High Rated Mascara because it doesn't look like that she has eyeliner on. She just puts mascara on. So that is what I am going to do. So about like that. Honestly, it looks like shit because like this is not for my eye shape, but I do love how the makeup looks on her. I mean, nowadays you would like need to blend it clear out, which is what I'm going to do in the other eye. I just need to add bronzer to this side really quick to add this to my face really quick. And then they put this red orangey lip with it. Why? I have no idea, but I'm gonna go find one, maybe. What? If you ask nicely. I say, don't worry, I'm putting on lipstick. You don't make me laugh and then I'm gonna mess up. This is gonna look crazy. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start on my half of my face on how I would normally do my makeup. So let me go get my stuff and I'll be right back. For this eye, I am definitely going to go for like a neon green look because neon is in and I kind of did like this look already. So ignore the fact that I said that, oh, I'm going to try and keep it the same. It's, it's not going to be. I am going to use the mattifying primer on this side of my face as well. Milani and I'm gonna mix it with the Jeffree Star concealer because I did get too dark of a shade of this and the Jeffree it just blends well with it so I'm going to be doing that. concealer as their base but a lot of people will still use eye primers. I really love this Milani eyeshadow primer. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion so I am going to use Using this M503 brush that I kind of said was a packer brush, kind of not. I'm going to go in with that green color from the 35B color that ended up being way lighter than I thought it would be. I'm gonna take that and then this kind of tealy blue color underneath of it and kind of mix the two together and then I'm going to blend my crease out. Going in with the J. 
James Charles palette. He has this kind of lime green color down in the bottom left corner. And I'm also going to add this to the crease to lighten it up a little bit more and add some more color. And this I'm going to put all over the lid. Then I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to do the underneath of my eyes. And then I'm going to go back in with this and I'm going to take this darker, these two colors and mix them together one more time and then put that underneath the eyes to kind of help darken it up and attach it better. So now I'm going to take this kind of packer brush and put my dewy mist setting spray on it. And I'm actually going to, oh my god, I'm going to mix this shade and this yellow shade together. I'm going to add the yellow first to my brush and then put the green over the top of it and add yellow one more time just to kind of make it a little bit more vibrant and colorful. And all I'm going to do is add this right in here and just barely lightly bring it up here. And I'm also going to use it to go along the top kind of waterline area that I have and kind of make it go across as kind of a little liner moment. I'm just going to bring it halfway and then using the same brush I'm going to go in with a um, this inside job color from this Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to finish taking the eyeliner out, making it thicker as I go out. And then I'm just very lightly going to wing it out a little bit. So I have this little eyeliner moment going on. I don't want to do fake lashes with this, so I'm just going to add... The mascara like I did with this eye. Going in with my silky matte bronzer, I am just going to bronze my cheek, my chin, and my forehead up. going to add some blush really quickly my highlighter brush and dip into my highlighter and add my highlighter for lips on this side I'm gonna use amaze balls from Jaclyn Hills lip line it guys so this side is the 70s makeup and this is me turning the 70s makeup into a makeup look and how it'd be done in the 2019 2000 almost 2020 era so i really like how this video turned out and i hope to do more years kind of mixing them together it's crazy how makeup has evolved so if you guys like this video give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more so i will see you guys next time bye guys